Now, uh, junior doctors could go back to the negotiating table ahead of Tuesday's strike if the health secretary agrees to a new proposal being brokered by the Labour Party. A group of MPs, cross-party, have written to Jeremy Hunt, the health secretary, urging him to try out the new working rules for junior doctors in a small number of locations only. The government has dismissed the proposal as ill-informed political opportunism. Well, I'm joined now by the shadow health secretary, Heidi Alexander, who's been brokering that very letter. And a very good morning to you. Well, just lay out the uh, proposals and how difficult was this to get MPs from all parties mm -hmm. to support this view? Yeah, good morning, Dermot. What um, I've done today, along with MPs um, from a number of parties, um, is we've written to Jeremy Hunt over the weekend to suggest that if he is so intent upon proceeding with a new junior doctor contract, then it would be reasonable, given the concerns that have been expressed, to pilot it in a small number of trusts first and then to have an independent evaluation of the impact of that contract both on staffing um, in terms of the training opportunities that are available, the hours, the rosters that doctors have to work in hospitals, but crucially on patient care as well. I feel very strongly that this whole dispute has gone on for too long. It's really distressing yeah. for everyone who works in the NHS and I think it's time for Jeremy Hunt um, to put the party politics okay. to one I mean, side and actually it's a constructive suggestion. It's an interesting proposal and just tell us you've had support as they say from all parties. Yeah so um, the signatories to the letter are uh, Dr Dan Poulter who was a health minister in the former coalition government, a Conservative MP, Norman Lamb, who was also a former Health Minister, Liberal Democrat, and Dr Philippa Whitford, who is the SNP spokesperson um, for the SN, uh, on health and is actually still a practising surgeon, so she does um, know her onions when Plenty it comes to the Plenty of expertise there, yeah. Now what about, I mean, you know, at, at the heart of this, you know, going way back to the, uh, the original uh, allegations, I suppose, made by the health circuit was that, you know, more people die, more people suffer harm in the NHS at weekends than they do during the, the regular working week. 6,000 deaths was a figure that was used, 11,000 in some cases. Your monitoring of that would be to see if that is actually the case, is that right? Well there isn't any evidence that links changing junior doctors contracts and staffing arrangements amongst junior doctors per se um, with the increased likelihood of mortality amongst people who are admitted to hospital at weekends. And so what we are saying in this letter is almost to Jeremy Hunt, put your money where your mouth is, and if you're so confident that this change will actually have the impact that you say that it will, pilot it, have an independent evaluation of it, and then let's work out how we proceed from there. Have you, got any, have you got any body in mind, or would it be a, a new body who would do the monitoring? Well, I think that I think Jeremy Hunt would need to sit down urgently today, this afternoon, um, with the BMA to talk about what the scope of the pilot would be. I think it should be in a limited number of hospital trusts. Jeremy Hunt claims that he has a whole series of chief executives who support the contract. He tried to claim that he had chief executives executives who supported the imposition of the contract but that all unraveled quite spectacularly so I actually think that what we need to find is a number of hospital trusts where we could actually monitor what this contract means and iron out some of these perceived problems and their big problems with this contract around um, the impact it would have on the rosters that junior, the shift patterns that junior doctors would have to work, the impact that it would have on women, because there are lots of concerns about how the changes yes. to um, antisocial hours payments and on-call payments would deter women from staying on in the profession. And there's also a new proposal um, contained in this contract for safeguarding the number of junior, the, the junior doctors with respect to the number of hours that they would work. And we need to know that that new mechanism that is being proposed actually has teeth and will be effective because if it's not the only okay. people who will be losing will be patients. But Heidi Alexander you, you are opening the door aren't you for a change in the Labour position by saying trial it independently monitor it and therefore if the independent monitoring body says this actually works it is causing fewer deaths at weekends patient care patient experience is now improved by this new contract you're saying you would abide by that decision. We need to explore how this contract 
would work in practice and we need an independent evaluation of the contract's impact with regard to staffing and patient care. I think that is a reasonable hmm. and constructive position for the Labour okay, Party to far, adopt. But, but the, Labour, the next step, however, far, however long the trials go on for, the next step, if it's deemed to work, is to say, OK, Jeremy Hunt, you were right. Uh, if it is shown to improve patient care and to have a positive impact upon junior doctors with regard to the hours that they are working and the quality of care that they are able to provide. I think any reasonable person at that point would say, well, actually, we need to look at what the evidence shows us and move forward in a constructive way because what I'm interested in is ensuring that care is uh, of the highest quality um, and is available for patients whenever they go to hospital because I agree that if you go into hospital on a Sunday morning in an emergency, you should get the same quality of care as if you go in on a Tuesday afternoon. And in the face of, uh, of a major strike now, obviously involving emergency care as well, uh, your position at this very moment is still to, to support it if Mr Hunt turns this offer down? Uh, my position and the Labour Party's position is that Jeremy Hunt in the next 36 hours has to do everything in his power to avoid this unprecedented strike action happening within the NHS. And you're confident that if, uh, if Mr Hunt says yes I'll, I'll consider this the BMA will call it off? I think if um, Mr Hunt agrees to the principle of a pilot across a limited number of sites and audits the impact upon patient care then I think the BMA would be wise to be consulting their members very quickly um, about the prospect of not going ahead with the strike action on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Shadow Health Secretary, very good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Heidi Alexander there.